We are trying to build an endowment fund for the preservation of Auschwitz, which is a very important task, especially in the uh, current situation when the survivors are passing away. Our obligation is to keep this place authentic for over 1,400,000 people from all over the world visiting this place. We are planning to uh, work according to long-term conservation plan to be sure that in 20, in 50 years the, this place will stay authentic and that the next young generation from different countries will, will be able to learn from this place. And that's why with support of Polish government and with support of Israeli government and Ministry of Foreign Affairs, we, we are trying to reach out countries and individuals to build an endowment fund of 120 million euros. So far, for last four years, we were able to convince 26 countries to join the project, to have a pledges for almost 100 million euros, and to start first conservation works using the interest fund from this, uh, uh, from this endowment fund. So this is very positive because we know that we are already uh, protecting the most important uh, uh, elements of Auschwitz-Birkenau site and it's maybe important to say that it's uh, almost 200 hectares, 155 buildings, 300 ruins and hundreds of thousands of items like shoes, suitcases, uh, documents, archives. This whole this process will take decades and we must be sure, and this was the will also of the survivors, to make sure that this place will speak in the future as well. Um, so in terms of, of, of actual restoration and so on and so forth, well, what's the, uh, are, you, are you planning on building new buildings there? Are you planning on sort of making models of how it once looked? Not at all. We are just planning to make a conservation of what exists and what's authentic. This is the main goal, to be sure that no one in the future will say this was rebuilt and so on and so on. This is very important that this place speaks from itself. It's an authentic place and this is the most important value. So no reconstruction, only conservation, even if we need to put some new element just to keep the authentic element, we are making a very uh, clear sign that this was uh, just for the preservation of the site. And in terms of, of countries that have come out and have um, supported, you said 26 countries, um, needless to say a lot of these countries were countries that either had Jews themselves who were taken to the, to the gas chambers and murdered in Auschwitz-Birkenau. Have there any, been any countries that have surprised you or sort of upset you in a way? The biggest donor is Germany with 60 million euros, so half of what we need. Then Poland gives 10 million euros, United States 15 million US dollars, uh, France, Great Britain, Israel as well is participating with 1 million US dollar. To be honest, the most disappointing case for us is Hungary that after many years of uh, conversation and trying to explain how important is this place, which normally is not that difficult to say Auschwitz, this is the most symbolic place for Holocaust and for whole history of genocide and atrocities of World War II. And after those four years of negotiation, Hungary decided to give 120,000 euros, which is very symbolic. And this is very sad for us because it looks like they are not that much interested in keeping the memory of over 400 Hungarian Jews that were deported to Auschwitz and killed there in three months period. This is the most tragic part of the history of this place. In terms of the, the endowment fund um, and, and pushing forward, what, what's, the, what's the, the ultimate game is obviously to keep Auschwitz-Birkenau as authentic as, as potentially possible. Um, the money is just going to be used again to, to help building and, and, and keeping going. Is there anything else that that we as, as Jews and Israelis could do to help? Now we are in the moment where we would like 
uh, for the 70th anniversary of liberation, be sure that this place is safe for the future generation. So we, as a Auschwitz-Birkenau Foundation, we are trying to convince individuals to help us in this very, very important task. So anyone can contact our foundation and can help give us some advices. We hope that maybe some private individual donors will decide to support this uh, important task.